So if you saw the title of this video, I have recently started taking Tessa Moreland. And a lot of people on Instagram, Snapchat were asking kind of how it's going, the experience. So I thought I'd make this video and give an in-depth breakdown of pros, cons, what it's been like, what the compound feels like, the benefits, because there's a lot of hype around this peptide, rightfully so, in my opinion, because of the benefits that growth hormone and IGF-1 have. If you don't know what Tesla Moreland is, it is a growth hormone secretagogue. And basically, it's a weird name for, it's a peptide that, unlike injecting growth hormone into your bloodstream, it instead signals to your hypothalamus to produce more growth hormone. So you get the benefits of, I mean, it's growth hormone, so more tissue development, muscle, um, recovery, sleep. But what I've noticed the most is the cognitive effects because growth hormone and, well, it's either IGF-1 or growth hormone, play a big role in neurogenesis, the development of new brain cells, I mean, and your sleep, which those are kind of related. So I've been taking Tessa Marlin for a little over a week now. The first time that I took it, you're supposed to pair your natural growth hormone pulse, which is at nighttime, with taking the peptide. So I injected it at night, and a lot of people say you get tons of energy from, from uh, this peptide. I got the complete opposite. I injected it in the evening. I felt very tired, very lethargic. And I was like, okay, I guess it's just gonna help me sleep better, which it probably did, because it, it pumped growth hormone in the bloodstream, but I felt very lethargic, which I was confused because it's supposed to be a fat burning, energy and recovery boosting peptide. So I took it again at night, again at night, three nights in a row, it made me tired every time. And then I said, okay, let me try and change this up and take it in the morning. I took it in the morning, two days later, and completely different experience, tons of energy. The cognitive effects were the most noticeable, which was way more creativity. I was locked in in, a, in like a flow state that I hadn't been in for months, the first time I took it. So weird that it, it seems to be like a completely different compound, at least have completely different effects based on when you take it. So for me, taking it in the morning, I love it. Taking it at night, it just made me really tired, but also I feel like I woke up a lot during my sleep, so I don't even know if I was sleeping better. So main effects of this peptide have been, when taken in the morning, at least for me, a lot more energy, much more clarity mentally, and a real, like a, a massive cognitive boost. My creativity, my focus levels, I feel like I've had, like, I've never thought I had ADHD until I took this peptide. And it was like a fog being wiped off the lens of my mind. So much more clarity. So the verdict, like my verdict on this is, it's great, so far at least. I've only taken it for, like I said, a little over a week. So I'm still new and taking the peptide. And you know, you don't want to blast this for too long because you risk desensitizing your growth hormone receptors. Anyways, I'm getting towards the end of my walk here, but that's been my experience on Tessa Moreland so far. It's my non-medical experience, non-medical advice. So if you take this peptide and you die, don't blame me for research purposes only. Of course but yeah let me know i'm starting to make more content on youtube so subscribe comment let me know any other videos you want me to make if you tried tessa moreland and especially if you've been on it for longer leave a comment let me know if you've had any other you know if it's been all sunshine rainbows or if you've had negative side effects after using it for a long pro, pro prolonged period but anyways, that is going to be a wrap on the vid because I'm getting massacred by these mosquitoes.